So good morning. In the initial unboxing video I mentioned upgradability, that the storage can be swapped out. In the meantime I think the RAM is soldered onto the main logic board, at least it was in the previous model. So before the machine is going back to Dell I also wanted to quickly open it, show you how it looks inside. So you only need an industrial standard Torx. Um, T5, but of course one is a old-fashioned Phillips, so let's get that. So only took a little bit of convincing for this. Uh, snappy things to snap off. So we have a SSD here and we have a socketed Wi-Fi module and aside from the battery I guess that's it. By the way here, here are some crumbs. Yeah? So here, here actually was already a little bit of dust inside so the RAM does not look socketed. However you can upgrade the SSD and change the Wi-Fi module in case you want for some reason. And maybe you could get the battery as well. Okay, let's take a closer look for you. <coughs> in general I really prefer this kind of things being user serviceable. There's really no reason that in the latest MacBooks uh, users are not allowed or there is also not even an official upgrade pass to purchase this specific Apple SSD. The last years uh, on, on MacBooks really opened my eyes that actually coming from the PC history I really prefer being able to fix and upgrade some things ourselves, especially in a company. There's really no reason why we cannot upgrade users SSD for heavy developer use and testing and so on. In contrast to Apple who hinder the user to service like purchase separate storage modules, Dell is even going so far to publish who will service manuals on their website. I hope you liked this video and learned something and of course the Dell still worked after assembling it again. See you soon.